Hi everybody, I am Brian Mullins the Fox, here for a Rant Archive channel exclusive commentary slash rant video. Here to help mark this as an anniversary of sorts, unfortunately. 25 years ago on November 17th, 1998, in both America and Canada, in the wake of the renewed panics of demoralization against their own children and culture after the Jim Henson Company and Hallmark Entertainment bought out Odyssey TV, which later became Hallmark TV, in August of 2001, parents and families alike decided to rebel against this cultural shift and impact this had towards them for some fucking reason by taking their own children's lives and later used their leftover butt meat as the alternative centerpiece of Christmas dinner for 1998 which then began the roast game era since November 17th, 1998, all the way up until it ended on December 25th, 2016, the last roast game Christmas to ever have taken place in both countries. Around the same time, likely on the same note, Christmas Carol movies were the absolute rage of the public, especially released on video cassettes and DVDs. But here is what led up to the beginning of the roast game era, 1998 to 2016. And you may be asking, what led up to the Roast Game era of 1998 to 2016? Well, I'll tell you. Number one, roast turkeys and hams were wasted disproportionately more than they were consumed by the Christmas of 1997. Number two, for some, they became too expensive for them, despite the fact that back then they were relatively cheap, unlike now. Number three, for some, they didn't taste that good for their taste and liking, even though they had to lie about how they supposedly liked how the Christmas dinner tasted, and despite the fact that there was this holiday holiday tradition, traditional Christmas dinner itself. Number four, they'd rather prefer a meat choice that's tastier, but can't come from any other animal, much less a pig. Number five, they thought that children were as special. Number six, the religious and family environment became so toxic that not believing in Christmas was enough to have them murdered and their butt meat cut off for Christmas dinner, starting on the Christmas of 1998 for the consumption part. And number seven, they learned from famous cannibals like Jeffrey Dahmer and Albert Fish how to get away with it in many ways. A, they learned how to get away with murder in the most mundanely legal way, in a way where nobody can figure out that a murder behind closed doors took place. And they were nowhere near as nosy as parents, much less law enforcement are now, versus 25 fucking years ago. B, not only does the murderer get to eat Christmas dinner with the family members who have not engaged in the murder, nor the desecration of the corpse, be it a mother or a father, single or otherwise, Otherwise, all the while, having little to no problem doing so without intimidation. See, not to murder them publicly or out in the fucking open to where people can see it. D, not to try to cover it up, because covering it up backfired badly for both Dahmer and Fish. And finally, E, let all the decomposing human matter decompose on their own to the point where they're basically non-existent and can't be traced back to either the mother or the father within the uncontrollable nature of the situation and environment slash family that encompassed it. And this was all prior to November 17th, 1998, 25 years ago, a day that I consider a breaking point. Not because it's close to Black Friday, but there were a lot of other things that happened as well. On an unrelated yet odd note, like I've mentioned earlier, on November 16th, 1998, the Jim Henson Company and Hallmark Entertainment, already partners in television ventures, took over 45% ownership of the Odyssey Channel, according to the New York Times. In August of 2001, Crown Media relaunched Odyssey as the Hallmark Channel, and much of the Henson programming was discontinued, and they were promptly replaced with over-emotional, super-contrived, fake-ass Christmas-related movies, carols, and other sorts of fucking cartoons that are played over and over again ad nauseum. It was at that point, literally or not, that it was not about life as we live it anymore, even for children. It was pushed down your throat day in and day out. At that point, Muppets were even more demonized and fed the imagination of those who believe 
or have believed in something similar to the Satanic Panic. Muppet as an insult originated from when The Muppet Show was launched in the 70s. Much less ever since the show was launched in the 70s. Right around, or if not, after the time in the pre-roast game era that hams and turkeys were being consumed less and less and wasted more and more. But all of that didn't really have the influence it had, much less the impact, until that very day on November 16th, 1998, followed up by the day after. The next day, other Christmas Carol movies, be it theatrical or direct-to-video, blew the fuck up and became a hot trend around that time. This was coincidentally, or not, emphasis on not, in conjunction with what will have undoubtedly been the greatest and longest bloodbath for the dumbest of reasons, for not believing in Christmas. Now, when you think about all of that, who or what do you really think is special in the end. Nobody, of course. Absolutely nobody. And you all wonder why families had to act like complete and utter fucking Muppets? It's just a downright fucking silly reason for them to take their children's lives, isn't it? And it's even far more retarded than I ever thought how and really what caused this culture shock in the first place. All because a bunch of fucking Muppets trivialized their very existence, I guess. All of this, to sum it up, was because of culture shock. You know the very reason why the roast game happened at all? That is the exact culture shock that caused the roast game era to begin right around the time Christmas carols really blew up, near the end of the second millennium. And now here's the off script rant. So let me get this straight, let me sum it up all for you before I really go off on a passionate rant. So, I'm going to have to process this much more clearly than I ever thought, since I just realized the exact, exact reason and what the literal fucking culture shock was to have caused the roast game era to ever begin was because of the Jim Henson Company, the company named after the very guy that brought you Muppets and Hallmark Entertainment, the very company that brought you Christmas cards and other assorted Christmas things. When they combined Muppets and Christmas stuff for a channel that wasn't named the Hallmark Channel until August of 2001? If it wasn't Culture Shock, they would have had the channel named the Hallmark Channel almost immediately. But this is Culture Shock, and given the outrage all this shit caused, of course, in conjunction with everything else I've mentioned, holy shit! Jesus fucking Christ! Seriously, people? The guy who brought you Muppets really fucked you over? It really did your head in? Even though he's been dead for fucking decades? Really? And for all I know, I don't even know what the fuck the Odyssey Channel was. Oh, the Muppets are not real after all. I guess that kind of fucking did that for a reason. Especially despite the fact that there is a Muppets Christmas Carol movie. There's been multiple Christmas-related Muppets movies, show, episodes, and others. Culture Shock would have never occurred at that time. For those who don't know, the Odyssey Channel was a religious channel when it comes to Sunday, as much as it's religious for all the other days of the week, with all the other religious stuff. And Christmas happens to be a very religious holiday, if not the most religious holiday of the year in America and Canada. Why I bring up the Muppets? Because the kids love the Muppets and some kids hate them. Even a few or so kids back then were afraid of the Muppets. And the main reason why these extremely Christian parents hate the Muppets so damn much? Because they think they're satanic and would supposedly teach the kids to do the unholy nasty and start questioning beliefs and Christmas. They start questioning the existence of Jesus. They start questioning the existence of God. They start questioning the existence of flying reindeer, talking snowmen, Santa Claus and his flying nine reindeer, and so on and so forth. Maybe that's why there was such a conflict that cannibalism had to have been involved. You're never gonna take these children alive, you Muppets! And you certainly can never take them alive while making Christmas seem like a fucking afterthought. Don't have our kids question God, question Christmas, have them all fucking comply! It had to have been before November 17th, 1998. It just had to have been. I am shocked beyond fucking belief. If it weren't for the Jim Hansen Company, none of the culture shock shit would happen at all. All because people are fucking paranoid about the Muppets degenerating their kids and apparently teaching them to do the unholy nasty shit. Despite that being a retarded reason, of course. 
If I really found out so much sooner, years earlier, I would have had a fucking laughing fit at how fucking stupid this is. Jesus Christ. Children started to question their beliefs because of this move. If Muppets are not real, that means I would have to question my own beliefs and yours. And a lot of them love the Muppets. A lot of them hate the Muppets. But the Muppets have fuck all to do with why Culture Shock even exists. For the same reason why the roast game happened at all. It wasn't caused by the Muppets directly. Not really, not at all. And since the Muppets aren't real people but fictional characters, and given that Hallmark Entertainment and Crown Media are Christmas related and Christmas themed, that's how I explain it. I cannot believe for the fucking life of me all because of a Christmas themed company and a company named after the man who gave you all fucking Muppets you really love or hate regardless. Families and parents alike decided to say or do this. Slaughter their fucking children for not believing in Christmas. Cut off their asses. Preserve that ass meat after all the skinning, debacterializing, and all that shit. Put it in the freezer for until Christmas Day and fuck ham, fuck turkey, fuck having traditions. Let's just have it that way. 1998 to 2016. Man, were these people out of their goddamn minds. I'm speechless, I'm fucking speechless. 25 fucking years ago, a quarter of a century. I'm not even 25 yet. This is fucking shocking. That I was born long after the day all this shit really sparked and started a stupidly egregious genocide. All because you can't mix what's real and what's not and what's beloved? Coincidence? I think the fuck not. I don't think it is a coincidence, people. I think that is the reason why the roast game happened. Along with the fact that Christmas carols were becoming a super hot trend then, even though they have existed long before 1998. Strangely enough, with all that being said, and also given the fact that the roast game era ended almost seven years ago, and I'll make another video about it on this channel about when the roast game era ended seven years ago. I'm Brian Mullins the Fox, signing out.